how to create non-profit organization website on Wix. Hey guys, welcome to the channel and in this video I'll show you the way of how can we do these easily. And this platform is called Wix.com. They offer a lot of solutions of how to create a website for different types of uh, businesses, uh, for personal using and so on. So if you are new to this platform, you need to open Wix.com and then just simply click on get started or log in in the right top. After that, you'll need to create an account. You can do this with your Gmail and also you can create a separate account, nothing hard, just simply input your um, like login name and also password. So after that, you'll be redirected to this page where we can find all of our sites here so we can manage them, we can select them and edit, but uh, we don't have a website yet. So we need to uh, click on create new site in the right top corner. After that, we'll come to the next page where we have uh, two options. So if you know exactly what uh, do you want to have, you can click on start chat. And after that, you can explain your thoughts, explain your vision. And basically Wix AI will help you to build. But if you don't know, if you want to see some templates, you can click on set up without chat. In my case, I'm going to use this one. And what type of website do you want to create? So here we need to input like non-profit organization. So we have these thing here and then click on continue. The next step is it will create our dashboard. So from the dashboard, uh, we can manage all the things. We can find the nations, we can see uh, some other options. But firstly, we need to select what would you like to call your website. Let it be like non p org. So let it be like, like this. Continue. The next step is uh, choose the apps you'd like to add. So if you want to collect donations, you can enable this feature. If you have an Instagram account, you can use this one here. We can also enable different events, blog. And as you can see, we have a lot of apps here. You can see the name and also you can find all the uh, like small descriptions here. So let's click on continue. And the next step is go to dashboard. So on the dashboard, we have a quick checklist we can follow to make it easier. And as you can see for nonprofit organization, we have uh, four steps. So we can connect a custom domain if you need it. So we can click on let's go to check, is it like uh, available? And then we can click on make it yours. So here you can buy the domain. Yeah, it's really easy. You can buy it from Wix directly. So just simply follow the steps. The next step is to create your first fundraising campaign. So let's click on create campaign. And as you can see, we were redirected to donations area in the left side menu, where we can find uh, all the information we can manage about this campaign. So we have the campaign name, you can add it. Uh, you can also add the image. So we have the default image here, but I think it will be better to add your own here. Uh, donation frequency, donors will be able to choose how often they want to donate. One time, monthly, yearly or weekly. So you can add these options here. I think it's really good if you want to find some other different types of donations. Like donations amount, so give donors suggestion about to choose from. So you can enter a comma after every amount. The donors enter their own amount. So we can stop minimum or maximum number. And I think it's really, really good sometimes. Uh, notes for donors. You can customize the note, title and character limit from the editor. So you can do these and it may help donors add notes to their uh, donations if they want. So when everything is done, let's say let it be like test one. Let's click on save. Uh, we can also enter the amount here. Minimum one, maximum 100. Save. So now we have our T1 campaign. And as you can see, we can find all the information. We can also add uh, different uh, campaigns if you want. But in my case, let it be only one. So let's go back to setup. 
after that we can see that now we need to design our website and if we're going to click we'll come to the next page where we have a couple of options uh, so we can generate a design with ai so if you uh, can add prompts if you want to add it from your description you can click on generate a design but if you want to see some templates if you want to see some options to choose from i recommend you to click on pick a template so after that, we'll come to this page where we can see all the templates available. And I can definitely say that uh, you can find uh, everything right here. Let's try to see, to search for templates uh, in the search bar, non-profit uh, organization. Let's input this one here. So let's try to see. And as you can see, we have a couple of different templates, two pages here. You can click on the view for everyone and you can see how will it look like. So you can customize every single element inside. I think it's really, really good. And also all the templates are totally responsive for all types of devices, for fonts, for desktop view, and you can find the necessary one as you need. So let it be, for example, this one here. Let's select this. We can see like millions of women's voices are never heard and so on. I don't know. I don't know what these uh, like template is about. Uh, so you can choose and then just simply uh, customize it for your purposes. So let's like this one here. Let's click on edit. And after that, uh, we will open our editor where we need to customize our website. So we need to change the template. We need to add our own text, articles, images. And after that, uh, you can then uh, basically manage all the things. So uh, here we have a couple of options. We can manage pages, we can manage sections, and we can manage elements. So as you can see, uh, if I'm going to click on pages and menu in the left side, we can see all the pages available. We have a donate page, get involved, upcoming events, projects. And if you want to manage them, you can click on more to see all the options. I'm going to delete, for example, projects. We can also delete about us and so on. If you don't have uh, pages you need, you can edit by clicking on add a page here. So you can add different uh, templates about services, projects, contact, general, landing page, and so on. So this is the easiest way of how to add a pages. Let's say you'd like to add our team. Let's click on add a page. After that, it will be automatically added. So now we can start uh, with um, managing sections. Every single page contains from different sections. So if I'm going to click on add a section here, we can see the whole section structure. We have this section here, this section here, this section here, and we can add some other sections. So we can find the different types. And also if you're going to click and drop it here, it will be added to our page. So this is how to interact with sections. In the right side, we have these small menu where we can move them, we can edit them, we can uh, get some more actions as you can see, like change background, uh, shape dividers option, delete, and so on. So after that, we can then start uh, to interact with uh, elements inside of the sections. So if you're going to click on every single object, we can see that this is our element. So we can change the position, we can rotate it, uh, we can manage what's inside. And in order to do that, you can click and you can find these menu, edit text, create AI text, and so on. We also have different AI tools, so we can rewrite text, we can make it shorter, change tone, and so on. As you can see, yeah, it's really easy, really fast, and by clicking add elements, you can also add them. So different text, images, buttons, strips, lists, and so on. And in this case, you'll need to interact with every single part here. Just make sure that your structure is correct. So delete the unnecessary pages, add the pages you need to use, then manage sections, and after that manage content inside. So then we are ready to publish, we can click on publish, and basically our website is ready here, so we can view it inside of the internet, so it's available now. Yeah, as you can see, it looks like this. 
Uh, also, if you want to collect donations, you need to upgrade your plan. So click on connect, uh, compare plans. And here you can find all the plans you can interact with right up here. So it's really easy, really fast. And I recommend you to use Wix or other platforms if you want to create a profit organization site. So hope this video helped you out. Leave a like, subscribe and goodbye guys.